In this month's vlog, I will share with you a community crochet project, handmade Christmas gifts and recent projects. Join me with a nice drink and your current project for a few relaxing moments. Back in September, I volunteered to be part of a crochet project, not too far from the cottage in the next city. The crochet events are held weekly in a gorgeous little coffee shop garden. I love coming to this space to work, but when I found out they were making crochet items to give us donations, I wanted to be part of the project. Me and Thais, the owner, discussed ideas and I offered my crochet skills to teach the crochet ladies, many who had just taken up the skills, to show them how to make a crochet snuggle to give as donation to children this Christmas. As many of the ladies had only learned how to crochet granny square and amigurumi was too challenging at this stage, I worked on creating a crochet pattern which was similar to the traditional granny square but could be used as a teddy for children. I used the concept of double crochet in the round and created a crochet owl pattern which would incorporate crochet skills the ladies were familiar with, yet with a few small additions to push their knowledge in crochet to the next level. When everyone arrives, it's a bustle of catching up, enjoying each other's company and lots of yarn activity. Over the last few months, I've been driving out every fortnight and I'm so proud to see the progress and skills these wonderful talented ladies have learned and for the warm welcoming embrace they've shown me. We have made a lovely collection of snuggles for donation, each made with so much love and care and soon will be donated to give some children in Brazil a little crochet love. This year, me and Pod have been busy making handmade gifts for our friends and family in the UK. Some little crochet headchucks were made for someone special I met on my trip to the UK. As we try to be more sustainable, all tissue paper and paper is always saved from delivery for these moments. Wrapping simply and sustainably in paper and natural twine.
Todd has been busy embroidering Christmas trees, which we turned into framed Christmas cards as a keepsake. I enjoy writing cards and letters, filling the envelope with little surprises for the reader, as it is a contrast to today's instant world. The sense of love and care you feel when you receive a letter in the post from a friend is to me something very special, and I want my friends and family to experience this special feeling, especially this Christmas. Now our parcel was made, it was time to post to the UK. Now time for afternoon coffee. And a little crochet session, making last minute gifts for our Brazilian friends and family. Using up small balls of leftover yarn to make some crochet scrunchies. Gifts were made, now it is time to make our home a little more festive. Using some natural raffia yarn I bought in Sao Paulo, I remade my free crochet snowflake pattern to create some rustic natural crochet decorations. Inspired by German straw decorations that I'd seen during our time living in Magdeburg. I also bought some dried oranges from our local health food store, although I'm not sure if these will last as it is summer here, but I wanted to give it a try. Some old string was found and I strung the oranges into a simple garland to add to the tree.
now all the decorations were ready, it was time to decorate our little tree. So it's been a while now since I've got in front of the camera as we've been having a lot of construction done here at the cottage. So it's been difficult to actually sit down and film for you face to face. Now we're coming to the end of the year and many of our projects in the house are finishing which is very nice. And I wanted to get a chance just to talk to you face to face and show you some of the projects I've been doing towards the end of the year in crochet. And I'd also like to know your feedback on whether you like these vlogs or you prefer just free crochet patterns to know where I will go next year with my YouTube channel. So if you have any views or you have any opinions that I'd like to see this or I would just prefer the uh, free tutorials or I really enjoy seeing parts of Brazil in your life please leave a comment below because then I have more of an idea of what to film for you. So today I want to show you some of the projects that I've been working on the last few weeks. This is my first ever crochet pillar that I've made and I'm really pleased with how the stitches have come out and I actually used a free pattern online and I'll leave a link down below and then I did an edit and added one of my own crochet patterns to create the wreath in the middle. So I'll leave a link down below for both of those and this will be going in our new living room for Christmas. Also the last few weeks, me and my daughter have been trying to create as many handmade gifts as we can for our loved ones. And my daughter is taking up embroidery, which is lovely to see. And I've been continuing crochet. So the last week I've been creating some little crochet scrunchies. I'm trying to use up the scraps of yarn that I've got to create some little handmade gifts to go in our Christmas parcels in the next few weeks. And I haven't used any pattern in particular. I've just created one of my own and created a crochet rectangle and then sewn it together to create the scrunchie. If you would like this as a tutorial, leave, leave me a comment below and I can make this into a tutorial for you next year. They are super easy to make and they're one of those presents that are useful, that are not thrown to the side, which I think is more important now than ever that we try and be more sustainable. Also this month, I'm going to be releasing a new crochet pattern. It's been a while since I've done one because of house changes and life being chaotic, um, but I'm going to be releasing this pattern now, which is my crochet onion basket and these were inspired by a onion basket I'd seen online and unfortunately we can't get those in Brazil <laughs> so I decided to create my own crochet pattern using some twine um, which I bought locally here and I'm really pleased with the results so there is a medium size here and I have got three big skeins of yarns quite comfortably and this can hang up and there is also a small size just for little smaller projects again with a little hook on the back so this pattern will be released in the next week or so maybe the same time that this vlog comes out i hope you've enjoyed this little update and please leave me some comments because it helps me know where you want this channel to go in the future and I'm making this channel for you, so I want it to be useful, resourceful, and also calming. So I wish you a wonderful, happy Christmas and a new year from me in Brazil. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.